What's up, Toast Tots? It's your girl, Toast, and I'm back with another motherfucking video for y'all today. Yeah. Today, I'm going to be bringing y'all a motherfucking book, bang, beach. My mama made some collard greens and some macaroni and cheese and some banging ass fried chicken. Got my hot sauce ready. So I was like, story time up thing? Period. So, That's all you need to know. I'm about to tell y'all about the time a bitch got banned from her favorite bar, okay? <laughs> like my favorite bar, mind you, I was in this bar every Wednesday, on the Wednesday, like, my life depended on it, okay? And now I can't even go anymore because I'm banned, so. But before I jump into this story, I wanted to put y'all onto something delicious, okay? This right here, all right? This right here. But y'all on body armor. This is a new sports drink. Um, I don't know like where it came from. All I know is this drink is the bomb. Okay, it's called body armor. Um, it's not even called a sports drink. It's a super drink, but you find it in the sports drink aisle. Um, it has natural flavors and sweeteners, electrolytes, potassium, coconut water. Vitamins A, C, and E. Period. It's just like all around good for you. Like when you drink it, you just feel like like your whole life is just uh, so delicious. Okay, my favorite flavor is tropical punch, but they have a very wide variety of flavors, y'all. Go get y'all somebody. I'm okay. If it's not at your local, like grocery store or something i'm gonna put a link down below where y'all can get these because i need to try this it's like really fucking good and it's really good for you so if you want them people that like drinking juice but you want to be more healthy with it it's the whole way okay it's the whole way but yes <laughs> i'm just saying to this chicken story about how i got freaking banned from my favorite bar so like i said i was going every wednesday on wednesday I'm talking about every Sunday I'm finding somebody that's trying to go to the bar all weekend for that Wednesday. So I got me a ride set. I got my crowd set. I'm set, you know. And like, I was supposed to go with one of my friends that I usually go to the bar with. But her ass fell asleep. So since she fell asleep. I was on like Instagram looking at my friend's stories to see, you know what I'm saying, who else going to the bar tonight. So, mind you, this bar is like a lounge. So, they have like eight to nine nights. So, I was on Instagram and I see my friend that was going there. So, I did my friend, of course, bitch, you going to the bar. He's like, yeah, bitch, I'm going right now. I was like, bitch, I'm already dressed. And ready to go. Come pick me up. Not the morning the plus. Boom. So because they're young. You know what I'm saying. We pregame. Because I don't expect. You know. Yo, they're 18 and up. So it's like. Y'all not 21. So I don't even know drinking there. But I am drinking there. So. They pregame. You know what I'm saying. I pregame a little bit. And that was that. So I get in the bar. And sleep. Go. To the bar. And I buy me a liquid cocaine. I always start there. That's my start. Period. So, I down that. That chicken's so good, y'all. But, I down that. And then, um, I go back to the bar. Because they were in the back. Like, it's like two sections in the in the little bar lounge thing. It's like, the regular, like, dance floor, bar, pool table and stuff. And then it's like a separate section with, like, you know, smoke area. So we were back in the smoking area when we first got in there. Went to the bar, went to the smoking area, whatever. Chilled out for a little bit. Came back. 
I went back to the bar because I was doing my first drink. First drink was like this little. So, finish that easy peasy. So then, I get my second drink. My second drink is a liquid marijuana. Period. So, by this point, it's a show going on at the dance floor. So, we walk over and go watch the shows. I have my drink watching the shows. I'm watching the shows. Not paying no attention to my surroundings at all. Like, I mean, my eyes are locked on the stage. I'm not thinking about nothing else. I'm not looking at nothing else. I'm just on stage. Okay, cool. So, out of nowhere, security guard grabs me. Starts pulling me towards the door. Me, I'm drunk. Well, huh, you know. So, I'm feeling myself. So, he grabs me like, uh-uh. Like, I was literally just, I'm like, uh-uh, don't touch me, uh-uh, get off me, da da, da. He's like, nah, you gave a minor alcohol, you gotta go, you gotta go, you bet, you gotta go. In my mind, like I said, I'm focused on the shows. I really don't even know what he's talking about until I see who who else he's holding on to. Excuse me, I just spell out all the place. But until I see who else holding on to, which is my younger friend, okay? This girl, I know her. Since I was young and she was younger, like really, really young, like her elementary school, me like beginning of middle school. So we were young, you know, for a long ass time. So I'm like, why are you pulling me? I was going to the, so I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, what are you talking about? She was like, I sipped her drink. I sipped her drink. I'm looking at the guy like. I didn't give her no alcohol. Like, I was watching the shows. I'm not paying attention to what's going on. None of that. Honey, he didn't care about none of that. He gave the lady my ID. They logged me in as band. That was it. So, yeah. So, he takes my ID, puts me on band, kicks me out. Boom. By this part, I'm pissed off ranting. Like, but y'all, yeah, I ain't do shit. Mm-hmm. Drunk shit. On Snapchat, and they really banned me. Why? Why they didn't do shit? Da, da, da. So I have to pee, right? I have to pee so bad at this point. Like I gotta pee so freaking bad. So I try to go back in there to pee. But tell me why they let me pee? Like they would not let me pee, bro. I was like. I have to be, I don't care, you can't come back in here, you're being, I'm like, but I have to use the bathroom. He's like, I don't care, I don't care, da, da, da. I'm like, see, when you just piss all over your, 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 your parking lot, he's like, go for it. I'm like, I'm on my period, I need to use the public bathroom, he's like, you can't go here, you better to find, like, the closest public bathroom. I'm like, Fuck you, you too, nigga. Walk out. Piss the fuck off. And I gotta piss. So I'm drunk. Gotta pee. Can't pee. Mad as fuck. So. About. 30, 40 minutes go by. I mean, we're in on Instagram and stuff. Being mad that I'm banned or whatever. The rest of my friends come out. Take me home. Fuck them. Okay. Um. I would say, I guess only like three weeks go by, but it feels like four or five months has been like, we do something every week. And like, you just stop doing it. No. So I feel like forever. So recently, I just tried to go back in there. Put my clothes on, got cute and was like, we acting up tonight, period. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't knocking up, okay? I was going home because I tried to be sneaky and like hand my best friend all my stuff so that when we got in there, he had to hand me it back or hand it to her like and it come directly from me. She wasn't like looking at my face when the transaction happened or whatever. So. That's what I did. I handed it to my best friend. 
and we got in there. He showed him her ID or whatever. My other friend showed her her ID or whatever. And he handed her mine. And then she handed it back to me. And then I handed it back to her. And she was like, wait, did he just give you that? I was like, yes, I don't have pockets. He's holding my stuff. I was like, oh, okay. I'm like, okay. I'm like, we look nothing like, why would I try to use my gay best friend's ID? First of all, he's a man. Like, come on. And he's skinny. And 6'2". Definitely not 6'2". And definitely not skinny. Oh. Come on. She scans my ID. She's like, oh, you've been in trouble in here before. Step up to the side for me. I was like, oh. Okay. Step to the side. Because at this point, I'm confident. Like, I know I didn't do nothing wrong. Maybe they assess the situation and going to get back to me. Some guy comes. He's like, let me talk to you outside for a second. When he said that, I instantly knew. I ain't going back in there. What the fuck? So, put me outside. He's like, yeah, you're banned. I'm like... But, like, I, to, I told him the whole situation. Like, I didn't do nothing. So, I'm sitting there explaining the whole situation. Y'all, he's looking at me with the most sincere look in his face. Like, he believes everything I'm saying. Like, he's going to give me another chance. He's going to give me a chance to redeem myself. That's how he's looking at me. He's looking at me like he going to give me a chance to redeem myself, right? After my story... He's like, oh, yeah, mm -hmm, um, yeah, I totally understand. Like, yeah, nah, nah. but I can't let you back in. Okay. 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 How long? How long? How long can I come back in? He was like, well... Um, underage alcohol drinking is indefinite ban. So you mean tell me I'm banned forever for some shit I literally did not do? Like, come on. And he's like, okay, well, I really believe you and or whatever. And because someone that did that wouldn't come back in here like it's okay. And I'm like, duh, bitch, I didn't do nothing wrong. Why? Like, come on. She's like, well, I can work with you, but it would be like six months. Six months. She's like, you're you you're, you're a little bit there. You got what? Five five months in a week left. Tell me, I am literally banned from my favorite place for six months for some shit I literally did not do. Like, I wish there was a way I can appeal that, but he said, like, that's it. He's not supposed to be able to work with me. Like, whatever. So I'm instantly upset. Turn on Pandora. I said, there's no side club. So my friend comes out, right? And they're like, oh, what happened to the house? So I instantly just want to leave. Like, fuck it. But at some time, I hate being that person. Like, if you out with someone and something happened and, like, I hate, like, stopping the party. Like, being the person, like, oh, I got to go. So, like, I hate that. Like, I hate being that person. Because it's like, well, bitch, if you have to go so soon, would you even come out for it, you know? So, I, like, really wanted my friends to stay and have fun. But, one day, one day and one day. So, I had to leave. Like, I think it was put like, one of the guys came outside and was, like, trying to watch me because I was out there dancing. But, like, I don't care because it's, like, y'all really banning me. On top of the fact that I wasn't even going to drink. Because I didn't have money. So, I'm literally just coming here to just fucking be there. And y'all not even trying to let a nigga in, like. And no, I'm not going to say what bar, because fuck them. I'm not giving them no fucking clout on my shit. No. 
Wanna ban me? Fuck you. But I'm gonna talk shit. Cause you know who you are. And if you work there and you watch my shit, you know what I'm talking about. Like, period. Your girl was upset. Like, I'm bored now. I have nothing to do. <laughs> On Wednesdays, I, I don't even think I really prefer drink much. I thought I got banned for real. Because social drinking is the best. Like, I learned that. After I socially drink, I ain't want to drink by myself no more. Y'all, I'm hurt, so I really can't go back until, like, after my birthday. Like, well, that's so whack. But it's whatever. I really don't care because... I'm upset about that. So I had to get that off my chest and let y'all know. So thank you guys so much for listening to me. Like, for real. Because I had to run about that. And that food was freaking smashed today. As you can see, she's in thing. She's gone. I'm ready to go to sleep. It's about 125 in the morning. I just got off work. Had in the shower. Changed my clothes. I was like, I'm about to eat and talk to my booze. My toes hot. My fam. Period. And yes, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on this video. Also, follow me on Instagram at the dot toj. Again, that is C H E dot T O J. I follow back. Much love, boo. And um, I'm gonna see you in my next video. Goodbye.